News alert. We are following breaking news at midday. Metro police have made an arrest in the brutal rape of a 74 year old woman. The woman was attacked in her home on Bowling Avenue early Saturday morning. Police apprehended her attacker just three days later. WSMB's Rebecca Cardenas just stepped out of a press conference at Metro Police headquarters. Rebecca, what a relief this is for the victim and her neighbors. Yeah, it certainly is, Carly, and police say that they caught up with 46-year-old Philip Hayes and were able to take him into custody in the middle of trying to commit another crime on Tuesday morning. We want to take you through that. So a homeowner on Gale Lane, which is about less than 10 minutes away from the original crime on Bowling Avenue, called police to report a man repeatedly ringing the doorbell and rifling through their Jeep in the driveway. When officers arrived and checked home surveillance video, they were immediately suspicious this man was Saturday's rape suspect. They found an abandoned stolen car nearby before encountering Phillips himself. He resisted arrest but was ultimately taken into custody where his DNA matched that of the rape case. The police chief believes they stopped this man before he had the chance to act again. There's no doubt in our minds that at 420 a.m. Tuesday morning he had the same intent uh, but he wasn't successful. And we heard from the officers who actually took Hayes into custody today as well. They offered kind of an interesting detail. They said in that stolen car that they found on Tuesday morning were several women's purses. They say they were they appeared to be new, so they believe they were taken from a store as opposed uh, to actually taken from women. But certainly they said another peculiar and concerning detail to this case. You will hear from those officers who arrested this guy tonight on WSMV4. Carly? Rebecca, thank you so much. Such a disturbing case.